Hey everybody, welcome back to MVM Live here uh, on another exciting Wednesday. Hopefully you guys are seeing us. I know somebody said that the screen wasn't popping up, but... I think they're messing with us. It's popping up for me, so uh, hopefully... Yeah, I, please say in the comments right now, can you <laughs> hear my voice? That would be awesome. Is this how we're going to start every live stream from now on is with an audio test? Yeah, I feel like they're all in a private chat somewhere saying, okay, no one's saying anything. No one's saying <laughs> right. anything. You should pretend like you can't hear them. All right. See, Brian, Brian was Matt. the first to say, oh, Thank I'm a little you. loud, Gator Dave. Well, I'm also being Brian a little loud. Brian is a little loud. Well, that's I mean, probably that's, sh that's probably true. I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm dialing it back. But thank you guys so much for joining us here today. Uh, today on Wednesday, we're going to be playing a brand new game. This is not out yet, so that might be why some of you are saying you haven't heard of it or haven't seen it. It's called Kabuto Sumo. It is from Board Game Tables. Yes, they make board games as well as board game tables. They did QE, which was kind of a big hit. Yeah, on did. Tour was another one of theirs. And they're, uh, they usually have a pretty good production value. They on their Yeah, and this is no exception yeah. you'll see when we pull the game up here um how it looks but first a couple things we want to talk about big thank you to our sponsors of course big thank you to game toppers for the table the play mats all the accessories that we have here today and a uh, big thank you uh for last what, what did we play last week i think juicy fruits no that was two weeks ago was that two weeks ago Last week we played Haba, the uh, oh, Miyabi. Yeah, Miyabi. Miyabi was Haba last week. That's kind of weird. We got a, a Man, Haba. Time has flown. Miyabi was kind of a Japanese themed game, and Kabuto Sumo was kind yeah, of a Japanese absolutely. themed game. Anyway, so congratulations uh, to the winner, which was Kevin Smith. You have won Miyabi. I, I don't think it's the Kevin Smith, but that would be pretty cool. I mean, it, Kevin Smith, that's not Either the way, I'm excited Kevin that Kevin Smith, Smith is here. It's very cool for you, too. <laughs> Very cool. In fact, I think it's cooler. I think it is cool. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin Smith, for commenting. Um, and uh, you should see your name right down below. Please email us at manversusmeeple at gmail.com so that we can get your prize out. This game is on its way over to the States. We got kind of an early copy. Uh, so it will be here within a month or so. And that's when you'll receive it. They'll ship it out with everything else. So, yeah. yeah otherwise, this game will be in retail later this year. Um, and Let's like I said, this is game. this is Kabuto Sumo. So it's it's an interesting game it is the theme is sumo wrestling of course but it's it's insects wrestling you have these bugs oh, what are they called kabuto mushi i think i'm pronouncing that right which are like japanese beetles that that butt heads well that's mine that's anyway. what you have that's kabuto kind of the, the theme of the game and david actually has that guy yeah mine's um, on the front of the box mine is the rhinosaurus beetle which is i'm not i'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of this name Kabuto Mushi. Oh, Kimarate, the name Kimarate. of it. And I have the pebble. He's a Hercules beetle. So they didn't just use the uh, uh, Kabuto Mushi beetles. They've used all different kinds of beetles yeah. and given them kind of personalities and things like that. So you'll see here that the arena, it comes preset with all of these different um, types of pebbles or rocks or whatever you want to call them. There's three different sizes. And our goal is to literally move this around the board and push discs in kind of like those old coin machines where you yeah. put the coin and you see if you can push anything off and we're each trying to push the other's beetle off of the board now you only start with a few pieces here but if you knock pieces off you get them as well so that's pretty cool yeah this is our inventory yeah. and the game can end in a couple different ways like ryan just said if one of us knocks the other's beetle out of yeah. the arena, they win. But also, you can become exhausted, basically, mm -hmm. if you don't have any inventory left, which can happen. Because I've played this once, and there will be times where you push a disc in, you're like, I'm going to get a lot, and <laughs> everything just kind of shifts right. around. It's just like those old arcade machines where you're like, what? So, exactly. We'll yeah, it's a lot like that. And we also have our own signature piece. I have this. It's a worldwide wrestling belt. Which is pretty cool. That's all right. Um, I have these sort of like I don't know if they're called antlers, horns on a beetle, on a beetle. These horns on a beetle, and I can get these if I do particular things. Yeah, same and then for I me. Get these things on the board and they behave a little bit differently. We'll tell we you have to, we have to earn these pieces. Yeah. So I am uh, red. And David is orange. It was the closest thing to yellow. We can call it yeah, yellow like if you want. Orange is well, my preferred color. This looks more like orange. This one looks more like yellow. So, That's but true. I think it might just be the lighting. Uh, who's going first? We're we gonna do it randomly. Yeah, we can. Let's do it randomly. I'm going to move this stuff because as things start to fall, yeah. it's well, going to Well, we just wanted to kind of show you guys. So there are two ways you can play this game. There is the junior league and like the major leagues. We're playing major. Uh, we're playing the major leagues, which is more like what they recommend for experienced gamers. The junior leagues is more like for when you're playing with families. You don't have the special powers and everybody kind of has their own special pieces they start with. All right, first player is? Me. 
Boom. How did you, good guess, David? I mean, it was 50 50. It is 50 50. Yeah, so this is this is about like, except you're not dropping a coin. You're literally, you get to position this. So we might be moving around a little bit. Yeah, and we're, we're going to be doing a little bit of this too. We might be so rotating you know. it a little bit. Um, so hopefully, and if we ever do that and stuff falls, you just put it over Yeah, here. it goes out of the it game. It doesn't count as like, oh, I got that too. Theoretically, um, you would be up and moving around the table. We're not going to do that for the light. We don't want to walk off camera <laughs> to, to do a good shot. Um, so when we I might just this rotate before it. before we rotated yeah. it. I mean, with four people, it might be trickier to do something. Now, like if, uh, if the game, I mean, the game's can in quick. That's why we brought out the other characters. Uh, and each character has their own uh, unique special piece. So if we do end up finishing pretty quick, we'll play another game. Yeah, but we I also we do because I want to play. This is what I played b before. Sisyphus, the dung beetle, the dung beetle. Well, that's the junior league version. So you can see oh, the difference already. The, the dung beetle here. The junior version just has an assortment of starting pieces. He gets this. He gets this giant uh, piece giant of dung. Piece of dung, and uh, when you get down, it's pretty big, so you can push things around quite a bit. Now I did not randomly select myself to go first. I wasn't even looking at the pieces, honestly. But I'm going first, right? You are going first. All right, so before we start, I want to tell you my special power, Shiko. At the end of your turn, you may stack one of these small pieces on my wrestler. So I could do something like that at the end of my turn. Then, in the future, uh, my special move, if you will, is to is called Sukadashi. Uh, remove one or more pieces stacked on your wrestler. I get all those pieces plus my special piece, and then... In place of my turn, I get to shove all those. That's a game pieces. ender. It is. That it, could be a game ender right is, there. Uh, I mean, this is a small little piece, but it could be a game ender depending on how many of these. Right. If you stacked. can get three or four of those stacked up, and you get to go well, three plus, or four in a row, and you don't want, to, I have to push a bunch off. Otherwise, I'm not going to have inventory. Right. That. That's the thing. Is your special power is we need to get our inventory. We need to get our pieces uh, in order to use these. Mine is called "Can You Dig It." I'm not going to do the voice. I'm getting a white warrior's vibe. Uh, if I can stack two green. Uh, little discs on top of my beetle. I get my little championship belt. I can put it anywhere on any piece. If the belt is ever knocked off, I just get an extra turn. Oh, so you just place it. I just place it oh, wherever okay. I want. So I could put it dangerously close to the edge. But we don't start with those pieces. We'll have to earn them over the course of the game. All right, I'm going to start things off here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, is Tony, Tony, I guess, yeah, Tony is here in the comments. It says right there, Tony Miller. That's awesome, Tony. Thanks for joining us. And I'm excited to play. I think it's a fun, abstract game. I mean, this could have had any kind of theme, but I think that the theme that they went with with the insects oh, no. is, I, I, is I like really cool. Uh, last thing before we start, I promise we're about to play. Uh, keep us honest. When you push on, you, there's two things you have to keep in yep. mind. You have to push straight on. You can't kind of start to steer. Right. And you have to stop as soon as the the one you're pushing on is just on. All right, you can't the just keep pushing you can't all push the way it through. All right, it's and, going. And it's, very, it's very tempting because when you push it just on and stuff's about to fall, you're like, oh, you might want to push yeah, a little more. A little, you gotta stop. That's when you start you breathing on it. So here we go. Are you going with your big one to start with? I am going with the big you're one. You're trying to get so those juicy ones right I'm off the bat. Push this one right here. Oh, you're. Oh my gosh, I'm already almost off the map. So I got what? Oh. You got a lot of two stuff. Two browns and two greens. I gotta tell you, oh, you are almost off the map. Yeah, that but I feel like I, I feel like I have to to push. I can't let myself sit that close to the edge of now, the map. Now, let me tell you this. But while Ryan's setting up, a, don't knock anything off. I'm not gonna knock anything you, off. You, I think you should just leave yourself. There. You just leave myself right on the edge. Are you gonna come right back at me? Yeah, I am. I have well, to. While Ryan's setting that off, when setting that up, when I played with my wife, she ended up having like. 20 it felt like of these small pieces it was kind of crazy oh uh, that my friend oh that you're right it was a little there. bit off way on there but gotta it, watch ryan and his it didn't knock anything off so that's not good for me anyway but it did offer me some protection oh i forgot to do my thing at the end of my turn oh well um i'm sad i didn't knock a single thing off this could be a short game for me everyone oops I, so I have to look because I could like my finger was covering the piece. I'm gonna go with this again. Yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of little ones, I'm aren't you? I'm gonna try to get a bunch of little ones. There you go. What I get? You did. You got four little ones, three can little you, ones. Can you give me the other one? Well, and David end, has quite the assortment end, here. End of my turn. I'm putting that on there, and I like my position. I'm right in the middle. It's it doesn't feel bad to be right in the middle of the ring. 
Here, where do you want it? I'm going to go right here. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. We're going to see what happens here. So I'm pushing it straight, right? <laughs> yeah, that rule hasn't changed. Okay, well, you traded your little one for a I big traded one. a little one for a big one. That's fine. Okay. Didn't do a lot for me. Hmm. Oh, Tony says, try putting your index finger on top and just pushing with your thumb. That's not... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Well, he might know a thing or two he about how to play the game. a thing or two. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm going to go... I don't think this is going to do anything. I'm going to go here. Yeah. And move this a little bit for me. This could do something. Oh, I like the idea. Yeah, I'm right? I'm already feeling it. And then you can use your thumb as sort uh -huh. of a guide yep. for whether you're on the edge. I'm going to push straight this way. Oh, well, that did work for you. I don't know what you were I'm worried about. stack another one of these. Okay. Okay, I'm liking my chances. And I'm also, I'm just going to say this. You are, we I'm, might be playing this more than once. I'm liking your, well, yeah, it's not a, it's not a super long game. That's why I put out all the other uh, insects so we can choose. But it, it, it can be. When I played with Alicia, I thought, okay, this is going to be over fast. We played for probably 15 or 20 minutes at least. Oh, oh right. I lost the... You don't press down too hard. You're right. Look at that. Just on the edge. Of course, it didn't give me anything but uh, green ones, but that's okay. Um, All you have are small ones, too. I think that's when you, you just got to start getting some of the big ones, and it gets a little harder. What are you going to do? I'm going to do... I don't like this. I don't like my guy being so close to the edge, David. Now, I haven't played it with more than two players, which I'd be very interested in playing this. Because I think that's probably chaotic. Not enough to knock anything off. But at least I got my guy a little bit I away from the edge. I got on defense. I'm definitely on defense here. I'm going to push this a little bit. Oh, weird. I forgot to do my power again. You've got a lot stacked on there. Yeah. I could have had three on there, though. And I probably would have used my power right now. Well, you've still got that big stone you can use, that big brown stone. I'm running out of pieces is my problem. I'm, I need to start getting some pieces here. I'm going to see if I can keep these going in one direction. Here we go. Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, can I get that big? Okay, but oh, you're gonna stack another over, one. I am stacking. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little nervous for my turn here because this is gonna be bad for me. Oh, you got a big one, though. I did get a big one. That was my goal. But I, this might be game over. Um, Are you going to use your power? I am going to use my power. So the way my power works is I can remove one or more pieces stacked mm -hmm. on the wrestler. Yep. Uh, gain the antlers mm -hmm. and all removed pieces. So I'm going to remove all three of these. Oh, nice. Then it says... This is bad for me. And push them in one at a time from the same platform position. This replaces your turn. So I get to push in three of these and these antlers. First, I think I'm going to do the antlers because yeah. I like the control that it might okay. offer, right? This is bad for me. Uh, uh, Benjamin, if somebody knocks over the arena, then yes, they lose. But the rule is if you bump any pieces off on accident, they just remove from the game. They don't go into your personal supply. Um, they're just gone. But you're technically, like, if you knock over the whole thing, it's game over right, for you. here's the antlers. Yep. Okay. Here's this piece. It's one piece. You've got three. Oh, this is game for me. Here's another this piece. is it. Here I go. Here I go. And here's another piece. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's some stuff that's about to fall, so don't try not to knock it off. Cause it's, you know what? I'm just gonna. Some... Oh, you've got you've got to be on defense now. Are you gonna move that way, or do you want me? To I'm move just gonna. It? I'm just gonna. Oh, no, you don't need to move it. I don't want to risk knocking any of these pieces off. Just don't press too hard. Oh wow! I will say this. I uh, didn't knock anything look off at, though. Look at the defense you have behind you here <laughs> I now. No. Giant chunky pieces. Oh. Okay. Unfortunately, it didn't knock. Though I was trying to hope it also knocked off the green ones. Okay. I'm going Oof. to. 
Yeah, Tony. Yeah, if you ever knock off your own piece, then it's you lose. Like you, you don't Are get any benefit still from that. Close. Yeah, we're pretty close. I mean, you can you can see it. It's starting to get a little crowded with pieces. I'm gonna go straight this way. Hopefully, you can still see our bugs. Oh. Dang it! I wanted that other brown one. I'm gonna go straight. Oh, and I'm gonna stack. Oh, I'm gonna go straight this way. I need to start getting. You, well, you're, you got a gap. Thank you. If you win this, no, that's not going to be good. I will be surprised. I want to actually. I'm going to go. Impressed. Would you? Oh. Would you, you be? Want me to rotate it. I got it. I really want to try to get everything to move, and push off that brown one on the end here. Oh. Let's see what happens. No, but it, that was completely not what I expected to happen. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stack these two on my guy. Oh wait, what's that? And I get to put out my wrestle my my belt. If this is knocked, if this ever falls off, I immediately get to take another turn. Oh, oh. Or I get a bonus turn. So, even if I knock it off, no matter when it's knocked off, I get a turn immediately oh, after it's so knocked yeah, off. So yeah, you want to put it on an attractive piece. Well, but even what if it gets knocked off by accident? Then that's bad. Yeah. Okay. So let's not do that. And don't go accidentally knocking it off. Oh. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do now? Um, oh. oh, it's really wobbly over there. Ryan. I know. That's my, that's what I'm hoping that it gets knocked off pretty soon. Just don't try to knock it off on accident. But we have a judge in the comments, so. Do, oh, I got to. I'm gonna leave it here for now. It's it keeps kind of drifting. Right, exactly, Tony. Oops, magic. I, I I just coughed too hard and the belt fell off. All right, so you do get these two, but I get two turns in a row because my belt fell off. That's but pretty rough. Oh, the belt I, goes. Oh, oh you know of, what? That's a good question. I think the special usually, pieces go out of play. Well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But they usually go out of play by default. Right. So if it doesn't stay out of play. So I get, two actually, I get two turns in a row here. So. I'm going to take this piece here. Someone says you've got lots of people judging you at the moment. Oh, geez. Well, I don't, I don't want to be judged. I'm not great at this. You know, uh, Brian, that it does seem like a quick game, but, but it, Ryan, I can tell you, I'll bet you right now feel this is going longer than you ever thought it would. I thought I was done. That was your two turns? Yep. I thought I was done from the very beginning. Like, David got that big push right away. I'm surprised I've survived this long, honestly. Um, I'm going to go big here and go, trying oh. to use my... Cro I see. Crokinole geometry. <laughs> it's a cro little crokinole experience. Uh, so if I go there, yeah, I'm gonna go like. I'm being judged. Yeah, I'm being judged. And says Here there's a lot go. of people judging. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that is not what I anticipated. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go from this side. You push them down really hard. <laughs> wow, that did oh. nothing. I was hoping it would at least move something. You get nothing. What's well, tough to know because like all of a sudden things shift and go different ways and you're like, well, that's not what I expected. I thought it was going to go straight. Our, our beetles are really close to each other, but I only have two discs left. So I need to start getting more or else it's going to be a forfeit. All right. Can I do this? There we go. That's good. And I've got some pieces again. All right, here we go. Yeah. I'm liking I'm liking the angles here. <laughs> Anne says, "Don't forget, David, stop forgetting to put this I on know. Your Anne, if I could give people my phone number and they could just <laughs> text me to remind me of these things, it's probably why I lose so many games. I forget to do the things that I can do." Let's see. Well, it's not going to look good for me now if that happens. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, and. Okay. Now All here's right. the thing: is I don't think. 
No, your piece is gone right now. You got to wait for it to fall off, I imagine, right? I believe so. Yeah, so I probably don't want to stack anymore for now because I need that piece off of the board. Dang it. Oh, that was one of the big ones you just Yes, did? and it didn't knock off any of them. I thought for sure it would knock off one of those small ones, but I had to give myself some defense here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to get down to it, I think here. Oh, this is not good. Um and it says you'd just be getting a bunch of texts before each turn saying. <laughs> Here we go. Though you've got, you don't want to stack too many on there because you're losing pieces no, every I'm, time I'm, you I'm do. No, I'm not going to stack any more on there right now. Um, all right, here we go. Yep. Ah, oh, that is <laughs> not at all what I wanted. Oh, that one fell off on its own. All right, it's time Things I... are not looking as good all of the sudden. Here. I need to start getting some pieces. Actually, I've got my big brown disc. Let's do the big brown disc. What is that gonna do? We'll see. Oh, you got a gap, by the way. You keep keep what? You keep leaving a gap between this thing and the thing. Well, I, I don't. And it gets a little gets a little janky. Well, yeah, that's probably why I uh, um... why I got stuck. Well, it's hard for me to tell if it's flush. I don't think there's any strategic benefit to that, just so everyone knows. No, I don't think so either. If anything, it's not as good for you, probably. Yep. All right. Oh, man. I... Oof. Oof. We're, like, right next to each other. We're going head-to-head. -head. I need some pieces. Yeah, you do need some pieces. So I'm going to do this... Are you running out of pieces? I was the one that was I mean, running out I'm of pieces. Running I'm running out, but it's just all these little ones. I'm not a fan. Oh, what'd you get? One of these. Okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, I am going to stack. Oh, my gosh. You're trying to end the game. Well, we'll see. We'll see, because my, my little horn antlers there are pretty close. Uh-oh. I'm not going to let those horns come out. Oh. See? You, you, you push down really hard. Wow, I thought that would do more. <laughs> I really thought that would do more. Uh, huh. But it did keep your horns locked in. N20, I bet you could. N20 game says if you could really like, were good at like the angles, you could like figure out combos of like. Well, that's what I've been doing. The problem here is, is I'm not good of, at it because of round surfaces, and the fact that they might even rotate a little as you push. Uh, there's a lot of variables going on. That's it's not true. exactly like billiards going on here. <laughs> right. It has that it has a little bit of feel to it though. No, it does. You can take that into consideration, but it's not an exact science, which is also probably a good idea. Benjamin, everything does fit in the box. I didn't have to assemble anything after it was done the first time. You know I'm gonna do this. I just pulled it out and played. You're trying to get your antlers back off? Not really. Their horns. Oh, you got a big one. That's good for you. All right, let's see if I can rotate this without knocking anything off. Let's go right here with my little, this is just a little green one. Well, the antlers are buried. And so am I. That was my goal, was to bury myself. You are pretty well buried. I don't want you to be able to unleash that special power. You've been stacking a lot on there. Unfortunately, I'm down to just two little green ones. So I need to get something. What if this goes on for two hours? I It won't. I'm going to run out of pieces before two hours is up. That's for sure. In fact, if I don't get a piece off like now, I'm about to run out of pieces. Ooh. Is that just one? Yeah, looks like it. How do I get that piece off is the question. Which one? That brown one. This is just going to push. I have one piece left. This could be the end. Oh, wow. That could be. I just need to get one thing off. That came so close to popping off. It was so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, this could be the end for me, guys. 
if I can't knock something off here or make something happen here. I think you might be able to make something happen, though, if, as long as you don't cheat. Nope. Oh. So. Ah, oh, that was so close. Ryan became exhausted. Do we want to reset? Yeah, we should reset. We got it? It's not even 1230. Oh, let's do it. Let's, let's do reset. It. Do you have the uh, rule book? Yeah, I got it. And I also know the, the arrangement. So, so why don't you set up to new powers? I and don't I'll... know if it's as, much, as tense to watch as it is to play. It's tense to play. But it is tense to play. Uh, yeah. And you're really sitting here trying to think, what can, you, what can I, how can I angle this? The, the different pieces that you're trying to get are definitely um, variables because the, the big one, the little ones are nice and you can get a lot of them, but they yeah. don't do much. And particularly if you go in, you really want to go in on a side where the, the discs are on the edge because if you if there's space, you're really just pushing it in like what you did on your last one right. there. You just kind of fill the space right in front of you. Uh, so you're looking for those chains of discs that are all touching each other and hopefully your opponent's on the other side. Uh, so I am going to, you want me to randomly pick some of these? Uh, yeah, right. Let's get them, get them out for us randomly. Not these two though, right? Let's not use the ones we just used, right. no. Those that's... guys are out. I'm going to randomly pick one. And you won, so you Ho get to go first? Is that how this I works? Get the yeah, sure. And there's a little guide showing me how to set this up. I'm not just, like, making it up. Okay, first person in the comments who oh, said, no. gives me a number one to six. That's going to be Ryan's beetle. Oh, no. Number one to six. Anyone, anyone. Oh, yeah, we had that one green one that fell off, David, so I'll need that back. Five, all right. Thank you, Anne. Ryan is cactus jacked. Cactus jacked. I like it. Oh, you get that big cactus. That's going to be... Cactus jack. It's this giant... Look at that cactus thing. This okay. thing looks like it could be hard. Uh, the next number was six. Oh. Well, unfortunately, there's no longer six, so I'm going to go with Carol's, which is four, and I'm going to take the fourth one, and I am the great metamorphosis. I need two small ones. And it is metamorphosis. Oh, I, he's kind of like magical. And my thing is this green droplet. Are all right, we, all we, should, we start with one. No, you have to put two of your green discs back. And we don't, I don't start with the cactus, but the cactus may come. Okay. What is your power? I'm sorry. My uh, green mist. Push in two of the little ones. Yep. One at a time from the same platform position that replaces my turn. Oh. So if I have multiple greens you can just I always do well two two of them although i'm putting in two so. right uh and then my special power is boiling point pay two bro oh, wow. sized ones to the opponent that's the other thing oh you, wow to pay it to the opponent you pay, you're generally paying to the opponent to get the big leaf and then i get the big leaf in my inventory which i guess is okay i guess it's nice because it it's has got a that point yeah can you can kind of really push through be things precise maybe hopefully uh i have cactus jacked he's a desert ironclad beetle and i have feigning death if i am ever on the edge of the board i can add one free brown pebble or the cactus to my inventory oh and then i have a bang bang ability i can give you a one brown one to push any additional piece at the end of my turn so basically i could do two pushes if i give you a brown one. Oh no that's a big one Oh, that's a big, oh, that's a big one? Yeah. Like, oh, and then I get a big one for doing Feigning Death. You're right. That is a big one. Yeah. All right. That's so going to be tricky. Push me to the edge of the board. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to push me to the edge. Okay. Uh, you, you won, you won so, so we don't. you want to go first or you get yeah, to choose? Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll, uh, mm, I'll go first. What are you going to do? Uh, well, I'm going to shove you over to the edge of the board. Good, please do. What's it, what's it happens again? I get a free piece if you if I'm on the edge of the board at the start of my turn. Oh, I'm not sure. Does that mean literally like it means breaking literally the, breaking the no, barrier? just on the edge, not like the not like the farthest piece to the edge, but like actually touching the edge. It doesn't. That's what I mean. Yeah, touching as your tangent with the edge, right? Right, not okay. like off. Fair enough. Fair hanging, enough. but off hanging would still be. You know what I'm gonna do though. What are you gonna do? Something different this time. I'm gonna do something different and just start. Like this. Um, I'm gonna push in two yep. from the edge using my green mist power. Yep. Oh, you're gonna so you're gonna do that right from the beginning. There's that's good. Um, you got one off. And a big disc. Well done. 
Well, I think I want to do this. Let's see if I what I can do here with this piece. Really? Okay. Am I touching the edge of the board? Am I touching the edge, the brown? You you are not. Oh. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, the edge of the board, this brown line. Oh, I see. Um, I assume that's what it means, the edge. Or does it I, mean literally would, the edge edge? I, I would say... I'm not quite there, either way. You're not quite there, either way. Yeah, the brown border equals the edge, she says. So am I on the brown border? No. Not oh, quite. it's so close, though! Not quite, but it is close. But you could end it right now. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Quickest game ever. I'm going to try. Oh, quickest game ever. Uh, there's a lot of discs between well, this and But you're going to get a good you're going to get a good amount of discs no matter what you do here. Ooh. Now you're on the edge yeah, of the Yeah, but board. look what you just got. But I have Oh my gosh. An inventory. All right, give me one of the big brown big big discs. Um I am Oh, you get one of those? Yep. Oh, oof. That's rough. Yeah, but... And you can pay me that to do what? To take two turns in a row, basically. To push oh. two pieces. The old bang bang. Yeah. Is this what I want? Yeah, this is what I want. And I'm going to come in from over here. Even though it most likely means I won't be touching the edge of the board anymore. Really? <laughs> Oh, I am still touching the edge of the board, though. Oh, is that? It's at the end of your turn? No, no. It, it, it'll be at the beginning. So if you yeah. move me, then I'm not. But I am currently. I cannot believe that those pieces didn't fall. If you move it, it those are going to go. There's no way. Oh, there's no way. Oh, my gosh. It takes I a very cannot believe hand. that those didn't fall. Also, we've slowly gone off center. Watch this. Uh, Timothy, I don't think we have the expansion. Um, I just have whatever came in the Kabuto Sumo box, which is right here. So I actually, I don't think that we got that. So it's possible. All right. Um, I am going to pay you those two. Oh, and wow. To get my piece. Okay. Oh, and you're going to try to wedge me right off the board, aren't you? Maybe. We'll see. All right. Um, I don't want you to have another big piece, but I don't want you in the middle. <laughs> That's the, those are the options. Am I still touching? Yeah, I am. Oh yeah, you're touching. All right. But there's a limit to how many of these I can get. Oh yeah, there's only... Actually, I'm going to take my cactus piece. That's oh, my other, or oh. I could take the cactus. Oh. The cactus piece is interesting. Yeah, this cactus piece is very interesting. So let's see how this goes. Oh, this you, feels more like pool. Go, you have to push straight. Oh, that just did more uh, harm than good. You know, I think that cactus more not often quite. than not is just going to like weave. Its I way know. I was really stuff. hoping it would push at least one thing. It really just separated. It did. That was but an you interesting. Could take that into consideration in future. Uh, I'm gonna pay you one brown to take an extra action. Oh. I don't well, like. Wait a minute, though. At you, the end of your turn, you can. Oh, okay. Pay yeah. one to your opponent to take an extra piece. Oh, but not the. Big oh, that's one. a big one. Never mind, not a little one. I can't. I get those symbols confused. Well, this is not good for me, at this point. Uh, I don't think it is. I mean, I'm gonna agree that it's not good for you. Well, I put myself in this position, of being a little too close to the end. Um. Hmm. 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 Indeed. And I really wanted that cactus to do more for me instead of just shoving my piece all the way to the edge of the board. Oh boy, you're getting. Oh, here's a big one. I'm going to do my green mist and do two of these. Okay. All right. I assume. Uh, and Tony, maybe you can help us. Dude. When I do my green mist, do I have to push both of them in effectively? Yeah, doesn't it say that? It just says push two one at a time. From the same oh. platform position. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Tony. See, it does say on the card. You didn't even need to answer. It's... You answered in the rules. Boom! I'm alive. And you I'm on are. the edge. Give me a big brown piece. How do I survive this? I'm going to have to push myself 
back. I like my position right now. You're in a great Even position. Even though you're getting pieces at the beginning of your turn, the fact that you're hanging off the board. I don't like it. So I'm going to make sure I'm not hanging off the board anymore. That's probably a good idea. So my cactus went away. No more cactus. But I'm not hanging off the board anymore. That's good for me. And we're back to being head to head right in the middle. I'm going to go right here. Yep. What are you going to do? Oh, your leaf is gone now, too. All right. I'm off the edge. I'm going to take my cactus. Oh, there's no more big brown ones for me to nope. take. So, okay, part, let's, part the Red Sea. Let's see if I could do this the smart way this time. Oh. Actually, here's what I'm going to oh, do. Oh, I had an idea there, but no. I'm not, I'm not even going to say anything. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like this. Well, I think that's going to part things even more. But it knocked oh, off a bunch for me. Are you going to use that as a spear on my bug? I might. Oh, I might. We'll see how this works. It's interesting because our bugs have... I have a lot uh, of pieces this little, time. ...little nooks and crannies that those things <laughs> right. might be able to fit into and really hook onto. I mean, we'll see how this works. Uh, but Stick can, them with a cactus. Can I push you Oh, off? that's a good... Tony said put, getting the cactus in between us is, is a good idea, too. Oh. Like using it to separate, he like probably, push us apart. I'm going to say he probably knows a thing. He's probably played this game a, a few times. This could be bad for you, though. Oh, because I'm right on the edge. Yeah. I'm going to green mist again. Yeah. And I'm going to go... Oh, psh, that's oh, it. Oh, I didn't even need the green mist. You didn't even mist. need the green mist. Mm. Well, that well was satisfying. done. That is the first time I've played that I've won... With someone getting knocked you out. You won both games. Well, no, but I mean, with my wife, with Alicia, we played, and I got exhausted, and she won. You got exhausted. That was uh, satisfying. I was a ways away out. from spearing you. Yeah, that was... Well, it was interesting. What I thought you were going to do when your yeah. uh, insect was on the edge here... Was push... I thought you might take this right there... Yeah, and push it in. And push it in, because you can kind of control it. It doesn't like slide off. Oh, that's true. I probably should have. I didn't think I don't about know using if that. That's hole. kind of gaming the game. You can Tony, no, that, because you can that... push it. You put as long as you push it straight. Yeah, I feel you can't. You can't like direct it. I would assume that's why the bug, the insects have those little. Notches. But then I was afraid that you would just come and just do the same thing. And yeah, but it's hard. It to is do hard. That You're right. That. No, that would have been smart. Well, you know what? You could have told me that at the time. No. No. That was a good play. I mean. You knocked like you knocked me solidly out. I wish we so that we'll game have to was, take a picture of uh, that it. That game was what, ten half, minutes, half the half the length of the first one. Yeah, that was def. I mean, that was pretty pretty close. I mean, we've only got like ten minutes left. Um, but we did say that we would talk about the game a little bit. Yeah. So I think we should we should do that because uh, a lot of the games or a lot of the games that we get um, that we just don't have time to like really dive into. We like to shine a light on some of these games. I mean, this is definitely what you would think of as like a smaller, lighter game. Um, that's definitely accessible, but I'll, I'll say for myself, losing two games in a row didn't put a bad taste in my mouth. No, it's still fun. It's just a fun game. Right. There's some games where it's like, and I'm like, I'm not good at dexterity games, but this isn't like, I'm not trying to throw pieces. I'm not trying to balance pieces or flick pieces. Like the idea of, of manipulating this board and rotating this thing around is pretty cool. And I think honestly, in a four player game, like, especially if you're like a nice circle table where everyone's moving around, like this could easily be like a showpiece game. Like this is the kind of game where like if you're at Gen Con, I can tell you if, playing at, this at the end of one of the tables, everyone's moving around at, at a convention. This thing is going to draw. Right. Crowd. People are or any kind of game day. I mean, if you've got enough like four people playing this game yeah. all huddled around this little board, it's like strike. It's like watching people play strike and everyone's huddled around the strike thing, throwing dice. This is. I will say those moments where you're pushing can be really tense, at least for people right around here. Even just not just the players, but like with four players, I'd be we have to play it at four players because I'd be very interested to see how much more chaotic it gets. And also, I kind of like the two player just thematically, yeah, because it's a sort of a sumo match. The two player makes a lot of sense. Um, and I think also with four players, I don't haven't looked if there's any unique rules, but you know, you might not want to get ganged up on if everyone's like hey let's <laughs> right. push ryan the out. one guy well and then, like that power that you had um like with the not this one but the one where you could stack a bunch so like if you end oh. up with if you're in a four-player game which four-player game is actually teams so you have two teams uh, in a four-player game but 
Oh, that makes you more attractive. It, it makes you very attractive. And you've got two players trying to push you out because That's they don't true. want you to pull off four or five of those discs That's in true. a row. And speaking of the powers, too, I will tell you a few more of these. This is one that Alicia played when we played. Uh, this is Ampola del Diablo, the blister beetle, and her power blistering. At the end of your turn, if your wrestler is touching an opponent's wrestler... That player gives you any one piece. From oh their wow! Like, so and, we were a lot like touching well, it at the I end. Know, when she and I played, we got into the center towards each other for a long time. So at the end of her turn, she was basically taking my inventory. That's how she exhausted me. Wow! Eventually. Yeah, that's smart. And it was it was pretty killer because once you're touching, especially in a two player game, it's kind of difficult to get untouching. <laughs> right. Well, that's what the cactus is. That's what uh, Tony was saying about the oh, cactus yeah. that's sliding true. it in between your pieces to push them over. Uh, N20, it's over. That second game was quick. David got me pretty yeah. good, pretty solidly. These so, are the games I. These are the games I can win. I, <laughs> I, I have a chance if I if I am just well, shoving things around. <laughs> but there is there is a deeper strategy to it. No, for sure. Like you can't just. I mean, obviously, I'm not. I had a lot of pieces at the end of that second game, but it didn't help. Yeah, I want to know. Like, look at this one. The, the antlers? What this, is? Well, I mean, I'm just saying, when you're pushing this thing on, it think like of hugs. the control you'll have. Well, it could like hug a piece. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder. Oh, I'm gonna have to look up the antlers now. Okay, mighty <laughs> jaw, mighty jaw. Mike is that character? The giant stag beetle, mandible claw. Pay three greens, the oh, little wow. ones, to an opponent to add that mandibles to your inventory, and then yeah. the power of vice grip. Yeah. Pay one medium size to an opponent. If any part of a piece is inside the mandibles, yep. uh, immediately knock that piece and all pieces stacked on it. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, oh, interesting. If it's anywhere inside the mandibles at all? Yeah. So if you even have a little bit of it inside if the mandibles? If any part of a piece is inside and touching the mandibles. Oh, and touching. But you yeah. have to pay for it. You have to pay a big stone. or. It's not a big one. That's oh, a, it's a I medium one? a medium one. Um. Oh, yeah. That's that's, that's pretty a pretty tough. cool power. There's a lot of really cool powers for this, for sure. So, well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, but before you leave, a couple things we want to say um, or announce, I guess. Oh yeah, we have some. We have some things. We have some things. First of all, there will be no live stream next week. I will be out of town. Um. So sorry. Yeah, but you, I won't. you don't want to see me sitting here playing a solo. Game. <laughs> I won't be here. I do think though that. Uh, I don't hold don't hold me to this, but I think Jeremy Howard is bringing his solo Sunday back soon. Yes, that's what I've heard at least. Yes. Well, he I think he's I think Jeremy Howard is the man versus meeple in the comments right now. So well, I hope so. <laughs> so I think that's just so you could ask him. But yeah, solo Sunday should be coming back soon. And then tonight we're actually doing something a little uh, different. We're doing a special live stream. Yep. Tonight, so hopefully you guys will come back tonight and join us. We're playing Divinus, the new legacy game from Lucky Duck, and I know we've been covering like we we did an unboxing, we posted a trailer, and we did a preview, but we we really like the game. So and we want to play scenario right, too. and we're dying to play scenario we, we two. So until tonight, we've been holding it off, and <laughs> right. so we're going to be playing all of scenario two. So we'll give you a sense for what we did in scenario one to set up yeah. scenario two because there's a lot of things that change between the two scenarios and then we're going to play through it. I don't know that it'll be much longer than an hour. No, and if you're worried about spoilers, don't because this is like scenario two out of 12. This is basically like the intro. Like this is like, here's the things that we're going to be using for just for this scenario. You won't see anything from any of the other like nine or 10 yeah, and scenarios. We'll probably so. try, there may be some narrative stuff that comes up, but we won't, we're not going to go into depth on right. what happened narratively in scenario one for you. One other thing is, uh, we are going to have a chit-chat tomorrow night. Uh, we are pre-recording it, so it's going to be a lot like the last one. Bear with us, because we're trying some fancy footwork with this one. Yeah, it'll be we're cool. We're going to have three people in one place, and then Jeremy Howard is going to be joining us remotely for a pre-recorded yeah, session. Yeah, it's going to look cool. So it's going to be like we'll, magic. We'll, we'll, so we'll, we'll do a little Disney Imagineering action on that. So anyways, we'll hopefully see you a lot of you guys tonight. Tony, thank you so much for yeah. joining us. I love it when we have designers passionate about their games and coming and talking about it with our community. If you're not already in our Discord, please see the link. Join our Discord. Yep. We're going to have these conversations there as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Thanks for any last Any last words? No, I'm just I'm happy I won. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye.